Today on Grand Thumb, forbidden shotgun rounds. The rounds that you sell in catalogs. The rounds you can buy from gas stations along with your boner pills. The, the rounds that Kurt Cobain used. We're going to be testing some exotic shotgun rounds, both rounds that you can uh, buy that are suspect, as well, well as rounds that you can, in theory, make. We're going to see how effective these are. Do they hold up to the claims? Can chain shot really work like an old pirate cannon round? Are we going to use it on Charlie? Yeah, yeah, we actually ran out of video that ideas. That was the Kurt Cobain part. Today in Grantham, the most exotic shotgun rounds tested at over 1 million frames a second with a phantom camera. But before we get into that, we of course have to thank the biggest sponsor of the channel, who is who, Micah? Primary Arms, providing you with any optics and uh, uh, skittles that you may need. Uh, it's their retro sale this month. You can buy any optic plus people. No, you cannot buy people. Go and check out Primary Arms. And of course, if you're looking to get into night vision, who do we have? Night Vision Network, uh, see in the dark. Women love it when you sneak up on them. This can fulfill. If you're looking to buy night vision, if you're looking to rent night vision, whatever you may need, go and check out Night Vision Network. If you wanna go explore, you know, your base with your buddies. Of course, if you're looking to get better at shooting, you need to do what, Charles? Spray Mantis. No, dry fire to Mantis, which will throw you guns to a dry fire machine. We recommend them, we love them. And of course, All Ammunition is sponsored by AAC. However, they don't make these weird rounds. They make rounds that actually work like our 77 grain SMKs that we love. But with all that being said, um, shooting is cheap, but phantom cameras are really, really expensive. Ludicrously expensive. But we're spending That's our V-Bucks wisely. About $300,000. We have a couple different rounds that we're going to be trying out here. Um, I tried to find the dumbest rounds possible. Would you agree with that they're pretty dumb? Yeah, they have the worst names imaginable. Okay, yeah. first one. Exploding slug. Pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> what, what's the back say? A whole paragraph. <laughs> Exploding slugs are perfect for the hunter that doesn't want to track his game. Yada yada. Instant incapitation. Yeah, like a slug yeah, exactly. doesn't do that. So, Tennessee, Missouri, Iowa, California, Illinois, New York, Florida, and Hawaii. It's not wait, legal. Say, wait, not legal? Yeah. So, very unbased states. Not legal? Half of these are communists and half of them lost Wait, the Civil War. So I think these are going to be really interesting for the flechettes. Um, flechettes, fun fact, are the best shotgun round in Tarkov. Very true. They're also really good in Battlefield. So these are things to think about. I'm really interested if these are going to stay together. I re That's why it's going to be- What is a flechette? So it's these little needles, uh, essentially like little darts, a bunch of them. Oh, yeah, I've seen those. But like, are they going to be deadly? And the question you might have is, like, how can you actually test these and know if these are doing anything good? Well, let me show you. So right here, we have phantom cameras. I can film at over a million frames per second. With these cameras, we'll be able to capture the rounds in flight to see if they're stable. We'll be able to see the precise wound channels as it travels through Charlie's body. And we'll see how, we're just getting reason blizzard gel. And we'll be able to see how well they're performing. So we're really excited to have these cameras out here to be able to test these to their fullest. Okay, so we have our uh, bruchettas. Bruchettas. Uh, this one is very World of Warcraft sounding. What, ball and chain? No. Armor piercing firestorm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, armor piercing slug. Still has business, the, still has power, horsepower. <laughs> is that the correct term? Does it say horsepower? It says horsepower. They take care of business on the other side. Body armor won't help a, help a suspect with this round. <laughs> no way these are made in the United States. Are these made in they the United sound, States? They sound like the Indian patch scammers that okay, I tricked. This doesn't seem real. It says this is illegal in these states. And I just don't feel like that's true. I feel like they just say that. Because that actually brings me to this, which is Florida legal ball and chain. Nothing says I love you like a six inch wide entry wound. <laughs> Wait. I'm not joking. Keep reading it. Keep reading it. I don't want to. Some folks call these bolo rounds. They contain 250 caliber footballs connected connected by six inch seven strand braided Kevlar cable. While the cable keeps the balls close together in flight. <laughs> Uh, Someone has an awesome job out there. So the best part about shotguns is really if you can if you can fit it in the shell, it, it fires. If it fits, it ships. So we also have coin shot, allegedly U.S. currency dimes, 
But it's fake dimes, right, Micah? It's fake dimes. Yeah. It's a factory load. Factory loading. Yeah. It, what, what, I, is it from the APAC factory? I guess. I guess there's nothing better than to get started to see if these rounds actually fire. We have a Van Comp 870 to test these out. Do you think these barrels are going to be okay with these rounds? Yeah. Uh, Charles has to go to the dentist, which is funny because his teeth still look fucked up. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so let's see your teeth, dude. Good. Fuck you guys. <laughs> so our very fast camera is going to be monochrome, black and white, and our less fast camera is going to be in color, living color, so you can see all the beautiful slow-mo. Slow-mo. Now we have our favorite employee of Onward Research, Jeremy Stone, with us. Uh, what do you want to say about the ball and chain round, the first one we're going to be testing? I'm really excited about this. I think this would have made a big difference in, like, pirate-oriented... Uh... Yeah, like Sea of Thieves. You ever play that game? Yeah, have you ever played Sea of Thieves? I have. Yeah, Sea of Thieves <laughs> nuts fit in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to shoot the bolo around now. We're going to see what it looks like exiting the barrel, see how it opens. Does it even stay together? Or does it fly apart and kill someone we don't want it to kill? And then we're going to shoot in a ballistic shell. That had zero recoil. I actually didn't think that the bolo round would, would the ball and chain would stay together. Yeah. I did they didn't make any Did you I think was it was really gonna surprised. stay together? What do you mean it was gonna stay together? The, the, oh you thought chain. it would just break the break yeah. the Kevlar. It's yeah. Kevlar. Engineer, what did you think? It's Kevlar. What's it's a, it's impervious. It's a, yeah. But it's you know? like high tensile. Yeah. High tensile. You know, just like carbon fiber. It's indestructible. He's saying things that don't make any sense. <laughs> so first off, the coolest shot we've gotten on Grand Thumb just because we have Super cool cameras now. I'm gonna say it right now, just use buckshot. So these rounds did do a lot. They produce a huge wound cavity, but there's two of them and you can get pretty much the same performance from double aught buckshot or single aught buckshot. It's cool, it's a gimmick round. It was cool watching it exit with the two Kevlar threads still attached. So, so, I mean, like, if the, if the cable were longer and you got a perfectly placed headshot, it would probably, like, It'd probably take a head off. Something. Well, funny enough, we can try that. We do have a dummy. We'll try that at the end. Next up, we have the exploding slug. This purported, according to them, to create a uh, soccer ball-sized uh, trauma wound. I don't believe I that. don't believe... I'm, I be I'm not having good faith in their claims at this point. They don't even speak English. It kicks though. I shot it. It kicks a little bit. I, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. Wow, that has, <laughs> that has so much recoil! Okay. Slugs, extremely violent. Exploding slugs, uh, you saw the blast. It was like the, the tiniest, like... It's better served taking the explosive charge out, out and just filling it with more weight. Yeah, just... Uh, it's actually useless. Next up, we have armor-piercing firestorm. What does that mean to you, Micah? I, nothing. It, it, it just means that it's probably a gimmick like the other two. Wow, gimmick? We have bullet safe level 3A. We also have level four in case very unlikely it goes through. And then we'll have gel behind this to uh, to see what it does once it goes through with its firestorm. Okay, armor piercing firestorm. Ready? Ready. Yay! Holy fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. So it doesn't even go through level three? No, it caught soft. The, it, it didn't go through soft level three. 
Armor piercing my ass, dude. That is, what, where's the firestorm? Kevlar, into yeah, well, Hey, Micah, let's look at the... hey, Micah, literally me. <laughs> 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 let's look at the high speed, see if there's any fire at all. The picture shows clearly the firestorm. We did not get the firestorm, very disappointed. So we're gonna shoot the brick now. Well, not the brick, what do you call this? Uh, yeah, that's a brick. A cinder block, cinder cinder, that's a cinder block, right? We're gonna shoot the cinder block and see if we get the firestorm. Well, we got the firestorm. Um, Did we? Yeah, well, according to them, it the most disappointing round. Basically, we're just firing slugs right now. Very expensive slugs. It's three of these rounds is like 20 bucks, dude. Gas station shotgun rounds suck. These are horrible. These are the most gimmicky, crappy rounds I've ever fired in my life. Do we have any good ones? Let's do the flechettes. It's bruschetta. 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 How do you say it? Flechette? Huh? Flechetta. What does it say? Well, it says, uh, makes a great home defense round due to its light recoil. This Dude. round has been known to go through two sheets of drywall and bounce off the third. So over penetration isn't a problem. That's exactly what it says. I, yeah. There are a couple <laughs> It's like a little nail with fins. There's one about halfway. One like. got kind of deep. These sucked. Okay, right here we have um, factory rounds. So we have coin shot, which is dimes. Allegedly, these are actually reproduction dimes. And uh, we have three of them. Uh, you can put up to five or so, and they're just stuffed in a <laughs> what would be a slug, and uh, you're firing essentially a money shot. Is that a bad joke? That's a bad joke. Yeah, I take that. <laughs> uh, so you got dime shot, and then I just have uh, this junk round. That's right, Micah. Yeah, it's like a something you'd see in Fallout. Coin shot. Uh, what feels wrong, and probably is wrong. <laughs> It's a freaking dime! It's a dime! It's in there! You can see it! I didn't put ears on. I thought it was going to be the most underwhelming thing ever. It was louder than any of the other rounds. It was really definitely loud. loud. No, I just want to want to feel it. Oh, oh my... Dude, it's a slug of dimes. It's all three of them. Dude, those are fused. Wow. This factory load is the... Uh, apparently the cheapest way of giving change out. <laughs> Uh, that was extremely devastating and violent. I uh, didn't expect it. It hit with such force that it actually ignited the air as it impacted the No, the I think jump. it was a... They hit each other. Yeah, like sparked. sparked. Yeah. It was crazy. Well, uh, that was really effective. Next up is going to be another factory junk round um, because it's just, you know, the factory's just making it with whatever. Uh, well, according to the factory, it's screws and nuts and bolts. Mike had doubted, but there are, there's literally bolts and nuts just deep in there. That would have sucked to get shot with. That worked. Yeah, can you imagine like how you go out just a T10? Like <laughs> <laughs> Torx bit. You're like, you're like, as long as it's the Torx 2.5 bit. Next up, we have Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath was made popular because of uh, John Wick. I guess the question is going to be, what will it do to a person? So we have a bunch of these little pellets right here that I assume are the uh, igniting material. 
didn't really go that deep. It's not really going to do that much. It would suck. It would suck. You're not going to go John Wick rampage mode, uh, but it will look cool. Yeah. Maybe the psychological impact is the real friends we made along the way. I think it's so far, every single one has been pretty useless. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, some were at least slugs. But will the bolo decapitate a human? How many V-Bucks with this bolo takes his head off? I bet all the money in Jeremy's bank account. Let's go, it's dude. It's like eight bucks. Let's go. We all ready? Fired. <laughs> these uh, specialty, these exotic rounds are the exceptions of the uh, factory locally made ones of dime and, you know, the bolt shot were utterly and completely useless and or marginally effective simply because they were slugs. So we're trying to prove something here. This specialty ammo that's supposed to be incredible is not. The proven performers are the proven performers because they're good at what they do. Buckshot and slugs is your go-to for putting down animals, for putting down human beings, and of course, bird shot for drones. So uh, don't worry about these rounds. Don't, don't, just don't buy them. You're just wasting money at this point. It's FUD gun store lore. Uh, it is FUD, fud uh, gun, gun, gun uh, You fired in Bolo Ran that room, you go take your head right off. Or not. Or not, Micah. Now he's got to try and trip someone with it. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, start running. Yeah. Actually, we can get the ranch hand to do that. Okay, guys, so get out there, get training uh, with a shotgun, use your normal rounds, buckshot, slugs. Have a good time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. And final thing for you guys, we got dad advice with Christian, our engineer. Yeah. You're a dog dad. Yeah, yeah. If you own the house, change your air filter. That is actually good advice right there. Dad advice, yeah. How do you know when to change your air filter? Every six months, about. Yeah. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha